In this video, my most comprehensive tutorial on Twitter so far, I'm going to cover everything you need to know to be successful on Twitter. From setting up and optimizing your account and profile for success, from posting on Twitter, creating polls, and lots, lots more. And all of that is coming up right now. Hey there, Mark Warnkin here. Thanks for tuning into my channel, the number one place to stay up to date with everything happening in the world of social media. As always then, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and tick the little bell icon. That way you won't miss out on any of my weekly videos. So here we are on my Twitter profile, Mark Warnkin. If you aren't yet following me on Twitter, by all means, hit that follow button. Send me a message as well. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. So step number one in my ultimate guide to using Twitter is actually creating an account and optimizing your profiles for success. So I've actually done all of that here with my own personal profile. Um, everything is set up and optimized for correct um, for success. So hopefully when anyone lands on my Twitter profile or starts following me or clicks on any of my links, they're left in no doubt, you know, who left in no doubt who, about who I am and what I do with that type of thing. So let me show you actually how we do create a Twitter account and set up and optimize a profile for success as well. So that's the first part. Let me show you that one right now. So we need to go to twitter.com. Now I'm showing everyone how to do this on my desktop. It will be very similar from mobile and iPad, um, but you'll come to a screen like this and it will either ask you to log in if you have an existing account, or it will ask you to click the blue button here to sign up if you're wanting to create an account from scratch. And then from that, it's going to ask you some very basic information. Create your account name, your phone number, your date of birth, that type of thing. You do then get the option of um, using an email, but let me type all that in and then I'll show you the next screen after that. So I've given that basic information and then it's asking me to click next again. So let's click next. Now it sent me a verification um, code as a text message. So I have um, entered that. So let's click next. Then it's going to ask for a password. So let me enter a password. And basically from now we have created a Twitter account. We now need to set up and optimize our profile. So let's now do that part. So it's asking me to now add a profile photo. So let me um, select the photo from my computer. So I have selected a photo and you can either zoom it in to crop it. Now I like people to see my smiley face because I'm my business and my business is myself. Now for a lot of you, it might be your own business logo as well. So that's pretty straightforward. We um, click apply and that part will be done. And there we go. So we, our profile picture is set up. So let's click next again. Describe yourself. So, okay, what makes you special? Don't think too hard, just have fun with it. So there we go. So this is all about your Twitter bio. So my bio, I'm going to keep it short, sharp and sweet. You do get 160 character spaces. I've only used 45 so far, making social media for business owners easy. Now I can go back and optimize that further, but for ease of use in this video, let's keep everything short, sharp and su sweet. What are your interests? Now they're going to ask for various interests because they're going to start wanting to, on your news feed, start you know, posting and, and sort of set, forwarding on information, I suppose, not posting. You're going to um, start seeing information on your news feed around you know interest that you tick so let's tick general news um, let's click YouTube uh, let's click football let's click athletics let's click travel and away we go now all of the social media platforms operate very similar they want you to stay on their platform so they're wanting you to engage with content on the individual platform so what they're now doing they're now suggesting to me based on on some of those ticks that i've just done and, and my date of birth and things like that they're now suggesting um pages that i can follow because they want to have my eyeballs on twitter as, as long as possible facebook do the same youtube do the same instagram do the same um link LinkedIn do the same. It's all about getting your eyeballs off another platform and onto this one. So let me click follow um, CNN. What else can we do? Joe Biden. Well, there you go. He's topical at the moment. New York Times, New South Wales Health, um, Channel 9 News here in Australia. Uh, what else? What else? Anything else? The Guardian, Barack Obama, the Premier here in New South Wales. There we go. Ariana Grande, she's one of the most popular people on Instagram and Twitter. So there we go. I'll follow her as well. Um, there's rugby league teams, there's football, there's sport, there's news. That'll do at the moment. So that's more than enough to give them some information at the moment. So we are following seven people or seven accounts, sorry. 
and then it's going to ask you to turn on notifications. So with any of the accounts that your people that you're following, allow notifications or you can skip for now. Um, I like to know, but anyway, that's a personal thing. So they're the bare basics for setting up a Twitter account. And we've only started to optimize our profile. So we have successfully created a Twitter account. We've given them some information, not overly details, just a, a phone number and an email. And we've given them some of the things that we like to follow, um, businesses, brands, companies, that type of thing but let's now click on over here on the left hand side and let's go and have a look at our profile and see what we've done so far this is what I've done so far social media mark one two three um, that's a little bit of play on words all of my other social media platforms are social media selling one two three so I have clicked the edit button again and I have already added a banner image now the banner image is customized at 1500 pixels wide by 500 pixels deep. So you want to sort of get that customized so it fits correctly, so it doesn't cut off any um, relevant information, any of the important information. So I've already gone ahead and added that. Added that. You just click here and it um, you can add a image from your computer. Now, with your account name, you do get 50 character spaces to actually, um, you know, just uh, name your account. Now, I've only added 21 of the 50, um, but I'll leave that up to you. The same with the bio. Remember, I just went with something short, sharp and sweet. You get 160 character spaces, but this is where you want to tell your story a little bit a little bit more about who you are, what you do, how you help. You're wanting to add a benefit statement. You might want to add a, a call to action. You might want to add some of your Google keywords for SEO ranking and things like that. So um, when someone lands on your Twitter profile, they literally are going to decide in seconds whether they like what they see and they might follow you, they may not. So location, you can add your location. Now, I've already gone at uh, this one here now, sorry, website. I've already added one of my landing page websites. Um, most of you you will possibly just add your business website, that type of thing. I use some landing pages as my sales page. So let's click save on that. So the next thing I want everyone to do is to actually start posting some tweets, so posting and sharing some information on Twitter. So just as you would do on your LinkedIn profile, on your Facebook page, on Instagram, it's the same type of thing. So let's click over here and click the tweet button. And this is where you now get 280 character spaces um, to, you know, explain, you know, what your tweet is all about. Down the bottom here, you can add an image as well. We can do polls and various other things, and I'll get to some of them later in this video. But let me add an image from my computer. So what I've done, I've added um, an image to one of my recent YouTube video uploads. And I'm saying in this particular tweet, in my latest YouTube video, I explain how to create a LinkedIn business page. Now, I've added some um, hashtags, LinkedIn, LinkedIn business page and LinkedIn company page. So there we go. Um, you can tag some people, you can add further descriptions, various other things, but that's short, sharp and sweet. Let's start populating our Twitter profile with some, um, with some tweets. Now that's gone live to your Twitter account your Twitter page, people will now get to like, they'll get to comment, they will get to engage with that, they will get to retweet it. And that's part of the way setting up your account and optimizing your profile. We're almost done. I just want to show you a couple of more quick little things. Now, one of those little things is as you start posting more and more on your Twitter profile, this particular post will get pushed down in the news feed. So what I like to do, I like to post um, or pin a tweet to the top of my profile. So by just clicking the three um, little dots there, um, pin to your profile. So that will mean um, this, uh, this particular tweet will appear at the top of your Twitter profile because, um, and that's where you can selectively decide on some, you know, some um, newsworthy information, some upcoming events, you know, a, a tweet that you want people to see whenever they uh, land on your profile at the top. So if I now click onto the Washington Post, I can now scroll down through everything in the Washington Post and all their tweets just appear in chronological order. Now, if they had a post that was pinned to the top, it would be right up the top here, just as I've done. So that's the example that I showed you with that. As I start adding more tweets to this page, this one will always stay at the top. It's called pinning a tweet to the top of your page. Which brings us to the last little bit that I want to explain to everyone in regard to setting up and optimizing your profile. And it's probably one of the most important parts. It's actually selecting your username or your handle. So You've got your account name up here, which I have showed you how to do, social media mark one, two, three. Now see under here, I have changed the username or the handle to 
SM Mark 123. Now, I've had to be a little bit creative with that because you only get 15 character spaces. I actually couldn't put social media mark one, two, three. So I've just gone for the um, for the sake of this exercise, SM mark, you know, representing social media mark one, two, three. And I've had to log in via my iPhone to do that. So I couldn't um, do it via the desktop. I think they've changed the way that it's done, but I was able to do it via mobile. And the sequence that you do on your mobile to actually do that part is... You go to settings and privacy, then you click on the account and that brings up the option for you to change your username. So there we go. That's the first part of my ultimate guide to Twitter and it's probably the most important part because you want to you know, create your account and set up and optimize yourself for success on Twitter. This is all based on a business version, but let me now move on to the next stages of my ultimate guide to Twitter with lots, of more, with lots more tips and information. We are again on Twitter, this time coming to you from my iPad, and it makes sense to show it to you on iPad and mobile because the vast majority of people do consume Twitter via mobile or the iPad device. So as you can see at the top here, that was the, um, the tweet that I did via the desktop version. Um, we're now going to replicate that via my iPad or mobile. How do we do that? Bottom left, we can see the plus in the, in the blue Twitter icon. We tap on that similar type of screen. It's the middle button here again, where we get to um, select a poll and then we're gonna ask that same question. Now that same question again is video content on social media is booming. If you're still not creating any, what's the main reason? And choice number one was don't know how to. Choice number two was don't have a camera. Choice number three was don't have any ideas. And option number four, or choice number four, fear is stopping me. Poll length, um, last time we created three days. Look, I honestly believe you can go as long as seven days, but gee, after a couple of days, I think that's more than enough to get some feedback. Um, and that's again, that's how simple it is. Three hours, one question, sorry, three days, one question, four options for polling going three days, and we would press tweet. Your tweet will send, and there we go. We now have two of them going, so I will delete the one of them and just let one of them run and look out for a follow-up video and I will actually give you the um, the vote of that or maybe not a video, I will actually update it on Twitter. So there we go, that's how simple and easy it is to create a poll on Twitter via the desktop version and via uh, uh, mobile or iPad. So this is the end result of where we all want to get to when we're posting on Twitter, when we're tweeting, when we're sharing business information, when we're sharing whatever information you want to share with the outside world. This is the end result. So I've just uploaded this one and it's um, I'm tweeting about one of my uh, recent videos that I uploaded to my YouTube channel. In this video, I explain how to correctly set up and optimize your YouTube channel for success. And I had the YouTube video link here, and I've added three hashtags here as well. YouTube, YouTube channel, and set up a YouTube, or set up YouTube channel. So I've utilized hashtags on this particular post. The post is about setting up and optimizing a YouTube channel. And I've used these three hashtags. So basically what happened and how hashtags work, if anyone was to now click on those hashtags, it will take you to all of the posts that include those particular hashtags. So, and I will get back to showing you how that actually works but I wanted to start with this straight away this is the result of where we want to get to so let me just go to my newsfeed or home page on Twitter and let's just scroll through the newsfeed to see if we can find any other tweets and posts on Twitter and some hashtags so here's one Cronulla Sharks are the rugby league football team follow they've got a hashtag saying up up um, and for anyone who is wanting to know that that's the first lines to our team song we say up up Cronulla so there we go Cronulla Sharks the rugby league team 
Um, they got some late mail about tonight's game and they're utilising one simple hashtag. Um, here we go, the uh, newspaper here in Sydney. Um, here we go, the National Rugby League. It's Friday night here in Sydney. This is the game tonight. We are ready, NRL versus Panthers versus Sharks. So they've used the hashtag NRL Panthers and Sharks. Again, if anyone wants to click on that, it will then take them to information on all on that particular topic. Just show you one more so you're then getting an idea. Jeff Bullis, um, he's um, someone I follow on Twitter, always posting great social media content. He's just utilised a very simple one, social media tools, and away we go. See if we can find one more quick one just to give people an idea on the idea of, or you know, why you would be using hashtag before we dive totally into it. Here we go. What's this one? Um, gold diggers in Victoria have, have found two huge gold nuggets. Nine News is one of the television stations here in Australia, and they've just utilised the hashtag Nine News. So if I was to now click on that, Nine News, it's now going to bring up all the tweets that have nine news within them. So basically it allows you to quickly and simply find information on a particular topic. So the more technical um, explanation of hashtag, a hashtag is any word or phrase without a space beginning with the hashtag, the hashtag symbol. People use hashtags to find content related to a given topic. So when you click on a hashtag, just like I showed you that example before, you go directly to search results for that particular term. So think of it as a reference tool, it narrows down, it allows you to quickly find information on a particular topic. So whenever tweeting or whenever you're posting on Twitter, you always want to use an image you're always wanting to add a video link like I've done. You're definitely always wanting to use hashtags. I find the sweet spot on Twitter anywhere between two to four hashtags. Equally, you're wanting to activate the direct messaging feature. That allows people to communicate back to you. Um, and you then want to maybe also look at utilizing this tool. Hashtagify is a great online resource that will help you quickly identify, you know, what are the best hashtags to be utilising regarding um, the tweet that you're just about to post. So here is that website, Hashtagify. I have no relationship with them. I'm just a customer of theirs like lots of others. Um, and it's a great research tool. Simply, sorry, simplifying hashtag marketing. Instantly identify top hashtags and Twitter influencers to maximize your success on social media. So it is a great tool. They've done all the hard work. So this is what all the top people do on all of the social media platforms. They they utilize other simple tools like this. They invest a little bit of money. And let me tell you, it pays back many times multiples, five times, 10 times, 20 times, 50 times, 100 times. So here is a great research tool that you might want to also consider using as well. So here are two more quick bullet points to remember whenever um, posting on Twitter. You can bring a tweet to another person's attention by including their username or their their, their um, Twitter handle in your message. Um, you could also use it to ask someone a question, thank them or simply highlight a piece of content. So as well as using hashtag, the, there's two more quick bullet point tips to utilize as best practice as well. So Twitter is extremely popular, extremely powerful to um, get your message out quickly and easily and fast. And that's what people are, are on Twitter for. They, they, they're scanning, they're scrolling for the news. They, you you want to get straight to the, just like I have in this video or my tweet, in this video I explain how to correctly set up your, optimize your YouTube channel and added those particular hashtags as well. Remembering your character count on um, Twitter is only 280 characters. Um, an image takes up 22 character spaces. Your hashtags take up character spaces as well. And your message takes up character spaces as well. So you want to get um, you know, right to the point, short, sharp, quick information. And let me show you how we can actually do some researching on hashtags. So it'll, all of this is now coming together on why you'd be wanting to use hashtags, the reasoning behind it, and how to actually use hashtags as well. Make sure you stick around because I'm going to do one final tweet as well to show everyone that example. So I'm utilizing Twitter now as the search engine. I've gone to the top right of my screen here and I've typed in hashtag Rugby World Cup. So let's press enter. And 
up is going to come all the posts that have the hashtag Rugby World Cup. So hopefully all of this is now coming together. I'm demystifying the world of Twitter for you. I'm demystifying the world of hashtags for you. So you can start seeing by utilising Twitter as a search engine, I mean, it's come up with a whole range of posts regarding Rugby World Cup, and it's um, listed them in chronological order based on their algorithm. So if what I was wanting to find out some information on the Rugby World Cup, this is what's trending. These are the news articles. These are the tweets that people are posting on Rugby World Cup. So this particular one, the um, Duke of Sussex, this is uh, Prince Harry when he was still Prince Harry, uh, hashtag Rugby World Cup. That's why that particular one has come up here. This person here is mounted on a canvas uh, when South Africa won the Rugby World Cup um, and it just scrolls on and on and on. And here we go. England speeds the Jason Robinson. He's taking the field. That was the Rugby World Cup here in Australia 2003 where England beat Australia. I remember it vividly. But you can see how quickly you can start to use Twitter in lots of different ways to find and gather information. So for your business and brand, if you're wanting to promote your business and brand, that's why hashtags become really, really important and really relevant that you use them each and every time. I'm doing it in a different form this time. Click the link below to learn how to correctly set up your YouTube channel for success. So I've actually put the image, the thumbnail image this time because that way it's going to be a larger image. But I'm going to add those hashtags as well. So what you can do is utilize um, one of the tricks is to make your um, hashtags a little more is to use capital letters. Um, now, it doesn't matter whether you use capital letters or not. The um, the uppercase or lowercase doesn't particular matter. It doesn't matter. So YouTube, uh, what else can we use? I've used a YouTube channel. Uh, um, create YouTube. Oh, no spaces, remember? create a YouTube channel. There we go. I'll leave it with three hashtags again. The sweet spot on Twitter tends to be two to four. Click the link below to learn how to correctly set up your YouTube channel for success. So I'm, there's a call to action. To, I've utilized the thumbnail. I've utilized some hashtags. We click the blue button for tweet, and there we go. We have it here. It's now populated through to the news feed on Twitter. People who are following me now have the opportunity to click and watch my video and learn more about social media for business. In this particular one, Beginner's Guide to Setting Up a YouTube Channel. Hashtags that I've used um, and now currently clickable for anyone on Twitter to now um, research and find information around creating a YouTube channel. So that ha that's how simple and easy it is. And that is the idea behind why you would be wanting to be utilizing hashtags on Twitter. And hashtags are to sometimes things, I firmly believe they're an everyday thing for every time we're posting on Twitter. So viewing my Twitter profile at the moment, down the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the blue dot with the plus and the Twitter icon. That would be how you would start um, tweeting. If I was to go to my home page, again, it is down the bottom left-hand corner. So it is really easy to start posting on Twitter because that's all we do is we tap that blue icon and up comes what's happening in your life. Now, firstly, I'm going to select a photo. This particular one is my son in soccer action, and I would then um, share some information on this. Now, remembering we only get 280 character spaces. That includes everything. The image that I've selected there takes up 22 character spaces. Um, and your hashtags and things like that take up hasht, um, character spaces as well. Saturday, soccer action from my son. We'll keep it simple. Um, let's add some hashtags as well. Saturday soccer hashtags. There are no spaces in between. So first one is Saturday soccer. What other hashtags can we um, add? And so I've added two more hashtags, soccer time and football time. So there we go. Nice and short, sharp and simple. How to post on Twitter. It is that easy. And let's press top right, the blue tweet button. And it is loading. Your tweet was sent. 
and away we go. That's how simple it is to post on Twitter from your iPad. Let me show you how to do the same thing from your mobile phone and your desktop computer. So the second example I want to show everyone is how to tweet from the desktop computer. Now, not many people will most likely do it from the desktop. I think 88% of all um, tweets and Twitter usage is on a mobile, but I will show everyone just for the sake of it. So here we are on my profile again. So here is the tweet that I posted just before of my son. That was the one that came from my desk. Um, sorry, that came from my iPad or the tablet. So from the desktop version, um, if I click on tweet down the bottom left, the pop-up box appears. Or if I'm on the home page, the pop-up is already up the top there. So it's the same result. So let's keep things uniform. I'm gonna click on the tweet button and up will pop the pop-up box, which gives us some options that we can play with. The first one here on the left, if I click that, it's gonna take me to my desktop computer and that's where I would upload an image. Um, the second one along is if I wanted to upload a GIF, straightforward there, we can select which one we like. The third one along is how to create a poll on Twitter. Now, I already have a separate video on that and I will put the um, instructions to that one or the link to that one in the comments below and everyone can have a look at that. Um, we wanna discard it. The fourth one along was we can add some emojis, all pretty straightforward. The pop-up box will appear here for some adding some emojis. And the last one along is how to schedule. So there we go. So there are a few different options that we can utilize here on the desktop computer. But I'm gonna select a photo from my computer and we're gonna take it um, and do it that way. Now the photo I've selected is a recent video that I've uploaded to my YouTube channel called Five Minutes a Day on LinkedIn, tip number one. So I'm gonna help promote that video here on Twitter as well. So let's type in some words, let's type in some hashtags and see what we can come up with. So the words I'm typing are, check out my latest video upload to my YouTube channel giving quick and easy LinkedIn tips to do in only five minutes a day. So let's add some hashtags let's add a LinkedIn uh, let's add a LinkedIn for business and the last one LinkedIn five minutes a day there we go so um, that's how simple it is Check out my latest video upload to my YouTube channel giving quick and easy tips to do in only five minutes and hashtags always best practice if i wanted to tag some people in i can do that um, but that's all pretty much straight ready to go so there's nothing else we want to do so let's click the blue tweet button and away we go and there it is that's how quick and easy and simple it is to post to twitter or to tweet from your desktop computer so the third example I'm going to explain and show everyone on how to tweet is from my mobile phone. So currently on my mobile phone at the moment, currently on the home screen, bottom right hand corner, the blue plus um, button, the Twitter symbol, that's how we would get going there. Or if I was viewing my own profile, it's in exactly the same position. And once again, back to my own profile, and the, there is the two other examples that I have done and showed everyone how to do in this video. The first one of my son playing soccer, that was done from my iPad. The second one, five minutes a day LinkedIn, was done from my desktop. And now we are showing everyone how to do it via mobile phone. So bottom right-hand corner, Let's tap the blue plus Twitter icon and away we go. So it's then going to ask me to select an image from my phone. Now I have a video here that I'm going to select. Um, this was one of my um, beachside suburb where I live here in Sydney, Cronulla Beach. It was nice and peaceful and calm. So let's click that. Um, and let's add some texts and some uh, story about this, this particular video. So a peaceful and calm evening here at Cronulla Beach. Let's add some hashtags. What will we do? Um, let's just put Cronulla. It's the suburb that I live here in Sydney. Uh, let's also put uh, Cronulla Beach. There we go, and maybe one more. peaceful and calm. Now remembering no spaces and remembering we can also do capital letters 
um, to help the hashtags pop. So again, pretty straightforward. A peaceful and calm evening here at Cronulla Beach, and I've done some hashtags, always remembering to hashtag, that is best practice. Simple, nine second video. Let's press tweet and watch that upload. Tweet is successful, there we go. I have now showed everyone how to post to Twitter or how to tweet from your mobile phone, from your desktop computer, and from your iPad. So